Okay, so there's a couple more functions I want to show you. Uh, one is the uh, duotone. Um, and what that is, is that that's a function that really lets you do quite a bit. More than I thought. I originally had it intended as a, a function to do, um, well, duotoning, where, you know, what, you, what it'll do is it'll convert a picture into, into black and white, essentially, but a, a duotone, where you can have something real, real nice. Uh, you know, that looks much better, much more striking than um, a regular photograph because the uh, uh, colors run from brown or blue, whatever you want, up, up to white. It looks uh, looks very nice. Or you, like on this one, you can go blue, for for example, make it kind of a nice washed out thing. But then what you can do is you can control the um, the highlights, and then you know you can really start to make it look uh, like something very striking, actually. Um, and then you can uh, play with the midtones, which kind of serves as a control. And the basic, basic thing is, is that you can end up with a picture that uh, this is essentially a black and white picture. That it not, in fact, it is a black and white picture. If the, it converted it from color to black and white when we came in, and so if this were a black and white picture, it would look the same. This has nothing to do with the color of the picture. So you can take a lot of black and white pictures and make make these duotones out of them. Uh, you can do actually quite a bit, and, and it's uh, something a lot of people like to do. It's actually uh, 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 something you see a lot out there, people playing with duotones, and so it's one of the reasons I put it in there. Uh, but another thing that you can do, too, is that uh, you can go, you can use it to take a color picture, usually the nighttime shots or subdued color shots, um, and uh, do some really interesting things by keeping the color in it, and uh, changing the color so you can already see that I've changed the nature of this picture completely with just one a couple slider moves see all the snow is yellow and kind of washed out now it's nice and blue and then if I uh, and, and now that I've adjusted the mode it just looks like a real nice colorful blue shot where you know that's the original this is the new one and then if I play with the highlights some and you know maybe get some reds or yellows or, or something in there and then uh, more more with the midtones you know I, I end up getting a shot that is just um, completely different than what it started off as. You can, you can really do a lot of color effects with, uh, with the duo toning. I mean, this example is, you know, it's just one of many examples. And although I'm not showing it here, one of the most interesting things you can do with the duo tone is you can really bring out, and I've, I've changed the colors here on purpose to give it an effect, but you can take a picture and bring out the natural colors uh, the way they were meant to be uh, by amplifying them at, with the duotone. And so the duotone turns out to be a very powerful tool, but it's also a very high level tool. It's a very professional level tool. It's not something you, uh, not only is it not something you'd see in a lot of editors, but it's also kind of a niche thing. You know, people need to want to play with the duotone filter in order to play with it. Fortunately, duotones are very popular out there. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to show you.